Hey everyone, OmniDev here, and I'm going to show you how to make a Discord bot using OpenAI. So to get started, we're going to need to make our Discord bot. Head over to plainlydiscord.com and then scroll down to the footer where you will find the developer's link. Navigate to that, scroll down to this app section and click on get started, and at the top left, you'll see applications. Navigate to that and create a new application. Name it whatever you want, I'll just name it AI bot. We'll agree to Discord's terms and click on create, and then under bot, we'll add a bot. Set up your bot however you like, change the username, set a profile picture. There is a little bit of a setup we have to do, not much really. Just towards the bottom, you'll look for message content intent and enable and save your changes. Now let's invite this bot to our Discord server. I don't have the Discord bot invite link down by memory, but I do know one place to get it. So on Google, we'll just search up Discord JS guide, open up the first link, and we should see this section labeled adding your bot to servers. Navigate to that and you'll find a standard invite link. We'll just copy that, paste that in, and we're gonna want to change up a little bit of this link. First off, client ID. You'll have to replace this with your Discord app's client ID, and to get that, we'll go back to our app, go to OAuth2, and you'll see client ID. We'll just click on this copy button, and then we'll just replace the default ID. We'll also want to set permissions. So to figure out our permissions code, we'll go back to our Discord app, go to bot, and scroll to the bottom where you'll see permissions. Turn on whatever permission you'd feel you need for your own bot. Just to get everything down, I'll make this bot an ad Admin, and we'll see that our permissions integer is 8. So we'll copy that and replace the permissions from 0 to 8. And now we can head over to this link to which we'll be prompted with an invite. We'll add it to my server, OmniDev. Join it by the way, links in the description. Click on continue, authorize your permissions. I'm not a bot, so tick that. And if we head to our server, we should see that the bot is now a member in our server. Just for this tutorial, I'm going to create a private text channel because I don't want to bother my precious nine online members. So we'll create channel, private text channel, and we'll name it to, to AI demo and make sure that the bot is a member of this channel, create channel, and we see that the AI bot is in this new channel. So the way that I want the AI chat to work is whenever I mention the bot and then attach whatever phrase, say, who is Mark Zuck? I wanted to respond with however OpenAI would respond to that question. And for now, that's nothing because we did not set up the bot. I mean, it's not even online. So let's get coding. I'm going to be using Discord.js. On my desktop, I'll just create a new folder, name it AI bot. We'll open up this directory inside of the command prompt. So CD to my AI bot folder, and we will install the Discord.js package. And now I'll open this folder inside of Visual Studio Code. We'll create a starting file, index.js. And going back to the Discord.js packages homepage, we'll take the starter code. I'm not going to be using slash command, so we'll get rid of this interaction handler. And we are going to need to add a couple of intents. First one being gateway intents dot guild messages. This way the bot can actually send responses. We'll also need gateway intent bits dot message content. This way the bot can actually read message content. Inside of client login, we're going to need to insert our Discord bot API key. To get that, we're going to go back to our Discord application and inside of bots towards the top, you should see token. I'm going to reset this bot's token and we'll copy this new token we just received and paste that inside of login as a string. So if we start the bot, we should see that the bot comes online. Per our ready event, it says logged in as our bot's name and we'll see in our server that the bot's actually online. We don't want to start the bot every time using node dot, so if you don't already have nodemon, install that, which would be npm install nodemon g. I already have, so I'll just type in nodemon dot. It's just a better version of node dot, so our app reloads every time we make changes to the code. Let's make it so the bot handles incoming messages, and that would be using the message create event, and we'll just pass it an asynchronous arrow function, with the first parameter being the message object, msg short for message. And just to be sure that the bot is receiving messages, we'll log to the console the message's content. Let's tuck this to the side so we can see everything at once, and I'll send a message in the server and we see that the console logs the message's content. QQQ, QQQ. Let's make sure that this event handler does not ever catch the bot's responses. To make the bot ignore itself, we'll say if message.author is a bot, we'll just 
exit or return. Now let's make it so that this event handler only continues if the bot is actually mentioned. So if the message object does not have the bot's mention, we'll just exit. So if not message that mentions that has client that user, we exit. And just to make sure that this is working out well so far, we're just gonna send a response. So message that reply you called responding to message that content. So if we send a message without the bot's mention, it should not handle. But if we do mention the bot and say something, we'll see that the code continues to run. Let's log this to the console too. I want to show you how it looks like with the mention. So I mentioned the bot saying hello and we see that the message in discord would say you know the regular mention format and then hello but if we look inside the console we see that the true text content would be in this weird format and this would be weird to send to OpenAI with asking whatever question we have for it. So let's get rid of this mention from the message content so we can send our normal request to the AI. So we'll change message.content to be message.content.replace and we'll say what we want to replace, which will just be a regular expression being in the format that we've seen here. So less than at being any number matching anywhere from one to infinite amount of times up to greater than and global. And we'll just replace any match with an empty string. And to check that this is working the way we want it to, we'll send another message mentioning the bot hello and now it just says hello without the mention at this point we're ready to send a request to OpenAI. so let's install the OpenAI package to so go into the package i'll copy this install command install the package i'll rerun the app right at the top of the package's home page we'll see some starter code that we'll use so i'll copy all of this top section here and paste it up here and reading it real quick we'll see that it imports the open ai package and we see inside of configuration we'll have to pass in our open ai api key so let's get our open ai key real quick going to openai.com we'll go to api we'll log in or if you don't already have an account sign up and once you're logged in click at the top right and then click on view api keys as you can see, I already have a key. That's because I created one for a past app. But in your case, you'll probably need to create a new API key. Once that's created, just copy the key and then paste that as the value to API key and a string, of course. Going back to the package's homepage, we'll want to copy the rest of this code here. So you probably want to use the most advanced chat model, GPT-3, the most popular model that's been blowing up everywhere. And that would be simple. Change it from 002 to 003 and just like that, you're using GPT-3. Prompt will be whatever question that you have to send to OpenAI, which would be our message content. So we'll just replace that with our message content. So at this point, this code will create a response to your message content, the response being this part right here. So let's have the bot respond with the AI response. So we'll get rid of this here and say message.reply with the AI response. Now let's talk to our bot. Mention the bot, ask it whatever question you want. We'll say, who is Mark Zuck? And just like that, we have an AI response. But you might notice something's a little bit off here. The response is short. It's cut off. That's because of the default token limitation. And there is a very low token limit because you probably don't want to be charged too much. But if you're aware of your billing and you can spare the higher budget, you can go ahead and raise your token limit. And to do that, let's check out the OpenAI API's documentation real quick. From the package's homepage, we'll see the full API documentation link. Let's navigate to that. And looking inside of API references, we'll want to check out completions. And this should look pretty familiar to you. OpenAI.createCompletion. OpenAI.createCompletion. What we're interested in right now is max tokens. Go ahead and read that. It has the very low limit of 16. I'm going to go ahead and increase the limit to 100 tokens. So let's take that. We'll put max tokens inside of our completion options and pass it a value of 100. So if we ask the same question again, we should get more of a full response. So it is a different response from the original, but you can tell it's not cut off. And just like that, you now have a Discord AI chatbot. You're pretty much done. But we're going to spice this up just a little bit. So you notice that when it sends a request, to the AI bot, it takes a second to respond. That kind of looks weird. Like, let's show you that one more time. One, two, three. Took like a couple seconds. Let's have the bot respond with a loading message while it generates a response. So we'll send an early response saying message that reply generating response dot dot dot. 
Now let's assign this to a variable so we can edit that message. So let response equals that. And this is a promise, so we'll await it to make the code more synchronous. So first the bot will say generating response, then it'll send a request to the AI. Once the AI generates a response, we'll want to edit our original loading message. So grab the response variable and then say dot edit with the contents being the AI response. Let's try out a longer question. What is YouTube? It's a more complicated question, so maybe it'll take a second. There you go. One, two, there you go. It said generating response and gave us our response. Now just one more bit to fancy up this bot. So we'll see the, that another option of create completion is user. This lets you identify each request per user. This way, if someone is abusing the bot, it's not going to flag your entire API key. It'll more likely just flag that user. Let's utilize that. Instead of create completions options, we'll say user equals our Discord user's ID. So message.author.id, but user must be a string so we'll convert this id which is a number to a string now it should make no visible difference but just to show you that the bot still works we're going to send another request what is your favorite color and apparently OpenAI's favorite color is purple. Now we're actually done. Just like that, you now have one of the most powerful chat AI bots out there. And it's powered by OpenAI, which I'm pretty sure is the most powerful public AI out there. I'd recommend skimming through OpenAI's documentation, especially checking out the completions documentation because these other options are pretty interesting to utilize for your bot. So if you found this video useful, please leave a like. I would greatly appreciate that. Leave a comment if you have any questions and consider subscribing. I try to make simple tutorials like this all the time. Have a good one.